Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mucklover and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as a good, good eight, Union of Romania, also known as just Romania. So right now, we have the fall of London, the Canadian forces have recaptured London with London in Canadian hands, British defeat is inevitable. And we do have to get to a couple comments, but let's let time go on so that we can watch what happens. Oh, someone retires from the PSR leadership. So. Uh, Christian Rakowski, until now one of the leaders of the Romanian Syndicalist Party, announced his retirement at the party's central committee. His position on position on the committee and leader of informal vanguardist faction has been assumed by his protege Gheorghe Gheorghiu. He was born in Bulgaria, settled in Romania in 1904. After inheriting his father's estate, already commissioned a committed revolutionary, he wrote for the socialist newspaper Romania Monketoire. Mung and would be expelled from the country in 1907 for rebellious agitation, and again in 1911 after secretly returning to Bucharest. In exile, he remained dedicated to the socialist cause in Romania before becoming involved in the Russian Civil War as a diplomat for the Bolsheviks. Uh, when they were defeated, though, Rakovsky was one of the many former Reds to find themselves in revolutionary Paris and would continue to represent the Romanian socialist socialist movement abroad as a member of the Third International. After decades of service, the old revolutionary has deemed it time to cede his place to the younger generations. He has taken his place as a leader of the PSR's informal left wing. Yeah, they're irrelevant. Cool, a couple comments though. Uh, someone recommends, or actually quite a few people, recommend that I play uh, as the Legionnaires under Conjunu, at least Legionnaires, Legionary Romania, as well as plays Michael, because Michael is cool. Oh, the engineers are gone. Bo what? Greece? Okay, I wanted to go to war with those guys, but, um... Okay. I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, what else? We really don't need too much else. We actually have a few fighters. I would like tanks, but we don't have any steel. Hmm. We got a lot of artillery, which I love, 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 but... Hmm. For now, I'll keep doing that, I suppose. I really don't know what else to build besides more artillery and stuff like that. But okay, Greece. You're independent, which is actually probably a good thing. If we go to war with Greece once the Third International collapses and the Entente is a piece of, as well, we might go to war with them, which they might join the Reich's Pact. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, someone recommended I recruit Dacia, which includes uh, some Hungarian lads, maybe Transcarpathia? I forget exactly what the person said. Maybe Alfred? Take a few Serbian territories like West Banat? Maybe even Eastern Banat? Or Vojvodina? Maybe take those territories and Smyria, maybe? Take some Bulgarian territories eventually, which would be good, uh, to create Dacia Annual IEDC Review. Uh, I guess that's fine for now. And take some stuff from... Uh, ooh, just keep building stuff. From Ukraine, maybe Udessa... Ooh, construction speed... We could actually really use this. Resource efficiency gain, even more output. I love construction speed so much. So we're going to go with that instead, just so that we can build ourselves up faster. Some more. Take Transnistria if we could possibly do that. Uh, maybe even Mogilev Podolsky. I don't know. We'll see if we can create Dossi or not. I don't know if we really can. So we'll see what happens. And we're trying to finish up this stuff as well as watching the world burn. And someone recommended that I should have taken out Austria fully beforehand. Oh, that sucks. There goes London. They got it back. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. It looks like the Third International will collapse though, since Paris is already gone. Uh, the Helvetic Human. Human? No. Commune isn't doing great. So, it is what it is, as we are just kind of hanging out, having a good time. Even though I really want to go to war with Greece for Bulgarian territory now. Even though they didn't annex them completely yet. That looks... That's so disappointing. You guys did so well. You were there for just like a moment, and then you lost it all. Literally lost it all. Oh, that's disappointing. Actually, you know what? I don't mind sending them volunteers, but we need to be at peace to send volunteer forces, because we are at war with the Third International as well right now. <sighs> Would Greece join the Germans? That is a good question to ask. No, we're really war with these guys, coming to France as well. <sighs> what is the Germans' relation with the Greeks? Intel... can't really tell. We have cult of personality, which is great. Let us do Idealized Sovereign. Or do more research speed. 
Let's get some more stability first. An idealized sovereign. So it's part of His Majesty's cult of personality. An idealized image of the king is one of the most important aspects. The king must be depicted in a way that truly shows his power and his God-appointed mission to lead the Romanian people, and the nation should venerate their favorite king as he brings forth a golden age for them. Very good. Very. Very good. The fall of Beijing? Uh-oh. Well, it's not bad for the Fang Chiang government. Oh, the Russians are doing really well against these guys. Really, really well. Riga is doing okay still. Oh, Lithuania's coming back a little bit, looks like. West Belarus is not doing well. Once Ukraine collapses, we will probably begin an offensive against the Hungarians, maybe. Oh, we can't justify against them. Oh, we can't go to war with them at all because we have no war goal. Because we're not... We have a non-aggression factor with their leader. Oh. Well, that's bad. Okay. Alright, whatever. Non-aggression pact. Negotiate licenses. Everything here. Negotiate licenses. <laughs> can I request land lease? Actually, we can go to war with the Russian Empire if we really wanted to, but that's not a good idea. Can I have some support equipment? No? Okay, then. That's okay. Uh, they're doing okay over here still. Yeah, they're still doing okay. Okay, now you invaded Scotland with a port. Please, for the love of God, don't lose it. If anything, just don't lose where you're at. I'll split you guys up in two. That's fine. Is there any way we can put more artillery on our guys? I might just make these guys 40 combat with, maybe, but let's go ahead and do that first. Yeah, support is going to be pretty important to get. Hey, look at that. Um, shh. Sure. As long as we don't get sunk, just... Oh my gosh, the AI. Why do you like that AI? Connect the railways. It'll be great for more infrastructure. Get some more civilian factories back. What kind of me? Nice, nice. We can build, 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 build. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'll take everything you can give me. Yeah, great. I love having allies. Mm, Germany, either win or lose. <laughs> Those are your two options. Win or lose. That's all I got. Maybe make a tank. So we might get some motorized stuff. We could probably trade away for at least one steel. And I do have a couple of something new here. A new cup of coconut macadamia tea. Oh my god, Canada. Again, why? Please don't leave it up to the Germans to enable invade. Uh, you guys are doing okay down here. Uh, sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, at this point we have to wait for the Russians to destroy the Reich's Pact. And to see what would happen. That would, that's probably actually the worst scenario out of this. Uh, I know the Reich's Pact is taking quite a beating. Oh, there goes Ukraine. That's good. Well, maybe not good. 2.15. The only thing that could co that would be good that comes out of the war is that the Entente comes back alive somehow. If Russia would and the Third International win, which is exactly what we don't want. However, if the Third International does win, wow, that is some good tea. Coconut, macadamia nut. Wow. That is some... Wow. Anyways, the, the way to do this. If... The Third International wins, and we can get a land connection through Austria, or Hungary, then we are good. We can go ahead and go to war with them, crush the Third International, and then go to war with Russia. Empower the Camarilla? Yes, please. The King of Romania has always had an informal network of counselors and advisors. The Camarilla, however, never became an actual institution with actual powers. With the King firmly in control, this must change, and the King's Privy Council will finally make it official, further cementing His Majesty's power. Good, let the time go on. More, 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 more. Connecting the railways. This is looking real good here. Any ships? No. Mostly making... Eh, well, 48. Oh, that's so far away. God dang, son. That'll help. Oh, that helped by five years. Nice. Oh, did we, did we get a positive amount? Not yet, but we're pretty close. That's pretty close. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, Paris has been surrounded. Cut off. It looks like this is going to be the fall of the Germans. Maybe. Potentially. Because these guys are actually pushing this way as well. 
Oh boy, please. I want it. Why did I go get a non-aggression pack with these guys? No. I knew that was a mistake. I knew that was a mistake. Should have never sent a non-aggression pack with these guys. Oh, Rush is going to be kind of out of manpower. You guys have enough? Oh god, this is not going to be good. I joined the wrong team here. I'm going to continue to say no. Oh god. Definitely joined the wrong team. <laughs> But we should be okay, as long as we hold our lines. I, I, I wonder. You know what? We could try this. It's only 35 days. So we can see what happens. This might force them into the Reich's Pact, which in this case, with the Reich's Pact falling, I'm not too concerned about it. Cancel Lindley's, that's fine. Um, actually... Now, you guys come over here. You guys stop training, because I need to see what's going on here. Give me half of you guys. Come down here. Now, with Eon... Actually, you can let them go on first. This way, we have 20 divisions on the border against these guys. And they probably won't be feeling very good, because, well, Bulgaria probably has quite a bit of all resistance. Arita Carbine, very good. Happy 1942, my friends. Ah, uh, yes. We use you. Good. You guys will be up here. Kind of guarding these. One, two, three, four tiles. And you guys will be good to go whenever you need to. Corneliu. Corneliu. And Peter, you are a logistics wizard, which is great. Hopefully this gives us a little bit of action. Hopefully they join the Third International and not Moscow. They do have a chance to join Moscow. Which is not good, obviously. Very, very not good. Cancel land lease, that's fine. You guys are gonna hold. You guys are Oh you're actually getting navally invaded. And they got in. Don't let them around. Especially if they have no port. That's good. Oh my god, Canada. You're such a disappointment, man. Why? Go and do that too. And we'll probably do this one next, Chief of Navy. Nah. We might do this one, Eon. Yeah. Un Union Day. Love it. Looking for planes? Maybe. Uh, nope. Uh, 100 fighters. Beautiful. We actually can support an army of fighters. And we have enough for another 100 fighters. Hopefully. Very good. Well, we'll see what happens when we go to war with these guys. At least get us some sort of action, right? Empowered Camrelia. And do a corporate alliance. While corporation or corporatism is an important aspect of His Majesty's government, corporate interests are also undeniably crucial in developing the country. Aligning with Romania's largest corporations will assure that we have the powerful backing of the wealthy industrialists and investors in the state's many development projects everywhere. Beautiful. Look at that construction speed. Awesome. We only get 2.83 political power a day. That's all. Only 2.83. Chief of Air Force, El Salvador. Well, at least they're gone. Plus air support. We'll probably go with this one. Yeah, plus 10% air superiority is pretty good. I could have done this, but we don't really need to. Yep, there we go. Eastern Salonica. For the love of God, please join the Reich's Pact. Or don't join anyone. They're fighting the Romanians. They have an aggression pact. Well, let's see what happens. Just you and me, man. I'm not going to call them in yet. This... Wait, do you have... Does Greece have cores on this? Oh, it's a colony state. Huh. That is... I'm going to not blah here. It's kind of unexpected, but okay. Keep going, keep going. You're going to... What the hell are you doing? Just go that way. Actually, if anything... Just go down there. You guys turn in. I do not want anyone else around here helping me out. Go, go, go. We might be able to... I, I kind of want to annex Bulgaria. Because I think that'd be a lot of fun. Still. You guys can hold. That's fine. 
Legation City. Okay, Legation City. Join the Reichspec. Cool. You guys are doing a great job. You come there. You guys come here. Even though Bulgaria is still in the Reichspec. Hmm. I'm not sure why this is considered a colony state. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. We've lost 9,000 versus 77,000. Not bad. Go ahead and move right on in. Come on, guys. Take them out. Good. Get down to Athens. I might just puppet Athens. Or, you know, Greece. We, I really don't know. We need to get over here so we can get through the mountain very quickly. Any, any major losses? Uh, probably over here a little bit. Uh, I'd recommend doing this one first. Yeah, don't worry about that one. Get over here so we can cut them off. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now nah, that should be easier. Still attacking over a river sucks, but whatever. Really doesn't matter. Keep on trucking. Good. Cut them off. If you can go that direction, you can cut them all off. Yeah, no, I don't care how much how many losses we're taking with this. 16,000 versus 117,000. That's pretty good. We've just cut them off. And they should be starving for supplies very, very soon. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Why did you leave? No, 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 no. No, you piece of garbage. Why did you leave? On what grounds did you have the orders to leave? You had no orders to leave. That's such crap. That is such garbage. You, that motorized division, the leader of that motorized division should be court-martialed for some crap like that. Are you kidding me? You don't leave positions like that, you ding-dong. Oh, my goodness. Okay, infantry. Move your legs. Come on, move your legs. Go. Go. That is stupid. You, this division single-handedly is going to cost us so much. So much more manpower, because they did not hold on to their position. Pathetic. Thank you. That's all we needed, was just a stupid little encirclement. Now, you can head down here. And you better not move. Good. Good. We've lost 26,000 versus 200,000. If they get that, it really doesn't matter too much. Get everyone over here. What? You have no orders. Uh, I don't believe you. Fighting through here. It would be so much easier if we could call in Serbia. We might still do that, though. What? How do they defeat us? Oh! See, now that, that's what I was going to assume that was going to happen eventually. Yeah, that's exactly why I kind of didn't want to join. But whatever. Thessalonica, please, thank you. Yeah, Canada, you've got bigger problems to deal with than uh, us doing this here, so. Should do okay against the Greeks. Uh, yeah, this is still a colony state. Nice. Very nice. Civilian oversight. I'm not sure why it's considered a colony state. It should be just complete resistance like everything else, but uh, I'll take it. Corporate alliance, nice. Reshaping the country? Sure. As Romania enters the Golden Age, the country will inevitably be resharpened as it becomes a modern one. Romanians will be better connected than ever before as railroads and highways bring people and goods to and from each corner of the nation. They will symbolize the king's ascendancy to prosperity. You got bigger things to deal with than that right now, man. Yeah, Germany's going to be dying here soon. They can't stop the Russians that well, but they really can't stop the Third International. So, Oh, nice job. Go ahead and... Cut them off that way, maybe? You guys keep moving down south, that's fine. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, good, they didn't get in there yet. Come on. Oh, we got in there, snaked in there right before we couldn't. Actually, if anything, you guys should go this way and take the ports. That would be delightful. Ah, no supplies for you. Hold them in place, hold them in place. Or very, very little supplies, actually. Good. Nice. So 
support weapons four. Get some more of that. Oh, more factories. Um, I'm gonna put them on planes for now since we're not gonna have a lot of things to do with them soon. Oh, there goes the militia units. Whatever. Come on, you guys got this. Good. Uh, don't let him through, please. They have stuff you are Fiorina. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. I did not say garrison Serbian territory. Serbs are not in this war, man. The last time I checked, I did not call them in. Y'all y'all doing a great job. Just hold on, man. Just hold on. Ah, Nicaragua's gone as well. Alright, all six of you guys should be able to beat those two divisions up. And we'll come here. We're doing a pretty good job, not gonna lie. I'm doing we're doing very well. And we have the Yugoslavia. Amazing. Truly amazing, my friends. Ah, oh, mountaineers. I love mountaineers. Throw them over here, though. Even though we can release them in Greece. Look at that. A Yugoslavia. The birth of the Yugoslavians. Peter. Called arms during wars. Yeah, Germany is not having a good time. Advanced fire bases, even better. And actually, that gave us... Oh, the recon has more recon. Do we have a recon on these guys yet? We do. And that's a good thing. Wow, we actually need more guns and motorized now. That's not good. And motorize. Go do that. Grab me one more steel. Okay, maybe two. I love the Russians. Ooh, actually, we we have. I love this construction speed, man. It's so nice. Do that. Uh, I guess we can build up radar if we really want to, like right there as well. That could be really, really useful. And if we run out of things to do, just build up where we have resources. So we could always use more stuff. So. There you go. Beautiful. Come on, crush these guys. You're doing an awesome job. We have almost all of the Greek army encircled and going to be set to be destroyed soon. And I will I will probably puppet Greece. There's no point to not puppet them. Beautiful. Oh, wait. We got Bulgaria? Oh, man. Do I annex Bulgaria or puppet them? Oh, God. Uh, we have to take all states first, but... Ooh. Hellenic Socialist Republic. That's kind of wild, but we don't believe in that type of garbage here. Now, that's a, that's a beautiful Romania. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And it's just considered... Uh, where is it? Greece? What? Okay, so I don't understand. Why is this considered a colony state? Yeah, this is considered, you know, just rebellious territory. I'm not... Wow, that's a lot of guns. And our tip... Oh, my God. How much have you been making Bulgaria and... What the heck? How much have you two been making? Jesus Christ. Um, they want to keep the guns on... Eh, keep the guns like that, I suppose. They want some medium tanks, though. There you go. Okay, then. That wasn't too bad. The Entente's gotten bigger. Sh let me know in the comments. Should I release Greece or Bulgaria as a puppet? I, I can't actually release Bulgaria as a puppet. Okay, we're keeping Bulgaria then. But what about Greece? What do you th guys think? I'd really... Big Chunga says hi, but, you know, whatever. Uh, the, oh, okay, so we have annexation. Hmm. Fate of Greece, fate of Bulgaria. I don't know, I kind of like it like, it like this. Can I have, like, a United Balkan front? That'd be kind of cool. You guys are great. You guys are over here as well. You guys are a one United front. Just in case, you guys come over here. So far we get, you know, that was, that was really good, holy crap. It is 42, but god, that's so much, it's like they made artillery, but they didn't do anything with it. The AI is just, I don't understand the AI sometimes, I swear. Maybe they've got artillery from other nations, that might have been it. I don't know, what the heck. Cancel the aggression in July 9th. Which, after that, we should be able to go to war with them. I kind of I like, want to go to war with more people now. Not going to lie. I kind of want to go to war with more people.
Hmm. Unyielding Defender. I kind of like that. I prefer this one, but that's not going to happen, so. Unyielding Defender in that one, so that we can do this to make ourselves even more powerful. There we go. Big ol' lines. If y'all need to train, go right on ahead. Alright, cancel the lead, that's fine. Army's looking not too bad, really. Oh, actually, you know what? We might be able to make these guys bigger. Big. Duplicate. Update. Right. Good. We made it correctly. More artillery. Ah, oh, reshaping the country is always good, too. I don't think we'll have enough army XP for this. Yeah, we need one more. I could have just thrown on like this instead. Two artillery. Even more soft attack, but that's okay. Ah, uh, we need one more. Just a single one more. Rebirth of the nation, though. As Majesty Carol II has many titles from conduct Codukator, Codukator, to King of Culture, perhaps his favorite one is King of Rebirth. As Romania enters an unprecedented golden age, under his leadership, Romania will attain new heights as a beacon of prosperity in a harsh, troubled region of Europe. More consumer goods, more stability, surrender limit goes up even higher. And that's beautiful. That is just awesome. These armor divisions look just so garbo. Why have more divisions when you can have great divisions? Look, oh, so many guys. Hey, the Union Britain's invaded Ireland. Good for you guys. Good for you. What is the manpower strength of the Third International? After this war, I don't think it'd be very high at all. Um, um, of course, they do have America, so... Commonwealth, how's it looking? They're actually looking a little weaker than normal. Of course, specific states are as well, but... Canada, you gotta do something about this. You have to. Because if the Canadians can't take them out, it's pretty much all screwed up then. Oh, they invaded again. It's fine. I'll send some guys down here. Nope. Hmm. That's fine. Even though I can't really make any ships yet, which sucks, but whatever. 43, August 43. Not bad. I mean, maybe most of more dockyards. Not bad. Maybe get one more of this. God, I, I trade away for so many resources. Keep building us up. Keep building us up. I might get some refineries, maybe. We'll see what happens. War economy. I could do that. Oh, do I really release Bulgaria? Hmm. Well, let's do Bulgaria first. Liberate them. Get a puppet. Oh, I really don't know. I have to make a decision now, though. You know, is it really worth holding on to these guys? We can try it. We can keep them under us. Why not? Wait. Oh, enemies? Uh, not yet. I don't think it's worthwhile for us to do that yet. <sighs> we could get them as puppets to use their manpower, but I could use their factories for now. And over time, we can get even more factories from them, so, you know what, I might just... Was this a good decision? Really? Fate of Greece? As a republic, liberate the kingdom. Uh, for now, we'll just do that, why not? Well, they'll lower this eventually. Do we have any armored cars? I don't think so. Do we even research armored cars? We have not. Actually, that'd probably be a good thing to do. That'd be a very good thing to do. But you know what? Hey, look, I'm, I'm happy that we took out Greece. That is amazing. We took out Greece, we took out Bulgaria in a single episode, especially compared to the last episode where we didn't do that much. I'm feeling pretty good about that, except, except for this huge, big old butt thing. And that is, I have no garrisons. And that's not very good. Which we need to get some garrisons. That sucks. Medium tanks, maybe we'll make some tank divisions, maybe, maybe not, we'll see what happens. We got plenty of artillery. Jesus Christ. I don't know what. Why did everyone give their art artillery to Bulgaria and uh, Greece? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, we have to go to war with the Reichs back. Oh, look at that. Canada actually invaded up there? No, that's a, that's a Socialist Republic of Italy. Oh, Dublin is.
barely holding on. Wait, what do you mean, fate of Northern Epirus? Ireland is... Wow, good job, guys. Wait, what? Why do we have... Take... That, that's too much. Honestly, Northern Epirus. Of all places. This isn't EU4 with Epirus, you know, being next to the Ottomans. That is something I would really question. Uh, go ahead and grab more recon for now. Then we'll get some more field hospitals. If anything... Nor North Epirus. Where is North Epirus? Is it right here? Let's see. Corfu? The o Ionian Islands? Where even is that? Like, Crete is great to have. So, oh, we're getting invaded in the Southern Balkans again. Oh, well, what else is new, you know? Oops. Oh, I'm joining with my cat, Binky. Hi, Bink. You okay sleeping on my chair? I think he is. Go ahead and just try to push him out. They don't... I think they have a port, so... Won't really matter. Honestly, that's too much for Northern Epirus. For Northern Epirus, it should be 10 political power, 1% stability, or war support. It's really not going to be that bad. Return Albanian lands. Um, With Albania here... You know what? I'm okay with that. We can return Albanian lands. That's fine. Yes. Return all the lands to them. Which is just that. Which is fine. We don't have to garrison that. Whatever. Maybe lost a factory or two. Doesn't really matter to me. I really don't care. King of the Rebirth, though. King of the Rebirth. Rural outreach might not be bad to do for more stability. Uh, Black Sea Fleet. I like that. Destroyers. Um, doctrinal expertise. Fighters. Oh, military factory. That's not bad to get. Ooh, I want to get this one, though. That looks really good. Close air support and ground support. Not bad, but this is better. So, IAR investment. Industria Aeronautica. Romania. As the largest Romanian aircraft manufacturer responsible for the most of our fighter development and production. To ensure their continuing contribution to our war effort, they need our investment. Yes. Well, at least we kicked him out again. We help out our little ally. You should like us quite a bit now, Albania, even though we took you out earlier and now you're a puppet of Yugoslavia, which is honestly fine with me. More than fine. You guys stay down there, you guys stay over there on the port just in case, you never know. Oh, and the Ottomans don't like look like they really like us. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I can't really help out against these guys. You should have taken these guys out when you had the chance. That is ridiculous if you did not. But you know what? Who's who's invading Florida? Australasia. Okay, well. Okay. Declare ready for... Oh, we have to be peace. That's fine. Wow, look. They're just smashing through the Germans. Please, let me cancel my non-aggression clock. Please, 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 please. Institute for Luftfahrt Technik. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. We used to get so much political power today. I wish we could do more stuff with political power than that, but that's okay. Yeah, just in case they might attack us. And... 94 factories. Not bad. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so how long would it take for us to go to war? 35 flipping days. Heck yeah, buddy. Nope. Nope. I'm not going to call anyone else in the war. Just me and them. Because the time to strike is yesterday. We're, we're going to have a good time regardless. Okay, you guys are training. Uh, you're, they're almost done. Ooh, North, Northern Balkans. Okay. That is a lot of enemies. I'm going to continue holding them here for now. You guys should almost be done training as well. Yeah, they're almost done training, which is good. Uh, did someone invade us in the Northern Balkans? Please no. Uh, yeah, they did. That is... Not good. Yeah, we could use more army XP. Please give me more army XP. I need better divisions. I might... Mm. We gotta make these guys. Put them on high. These guys will be the garrisons for now. Oh, France is over there too. With... When the Reichspax does get split up, we were probably going to annex Hungary. And maybe Austria. Well, maybe not Austria. Maybe Galicia Ludomeria, if we can get to it. Alright, you guys stop training. Mmm. We could lower the amount of goods we trade away. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're on free trade. As much as I love the construction speed... It's not super, super necessary right now. And we got... Oh, that's such a nice radar. Just in case, build some radar down here, down here too. 
Just because uh, I'd rather know it's coming in from the Mediterranean than not. And my gosh, we're going to need so much army XP for what we're going to do. Good. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to fight the Russians. Hopefully not. If I do have a good feeling, though, that these guys might come fight us eventually. You never know about those auto boys. You never know. I really don't trust them. I gotta keep these guys down here now, because these guys are coming in. Whew, we don't like this. We really don't. Oh boy, see? Southern Balkans. Yep, this is exactly why we gotta keep them around here. Oh, oh my goodness. Maybe I should make some more motorized divisions. Go ahead and move on in. Make one more at a time. There we go. Fiorina. 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 I don't know. We abandoned the porch, which isn't good. Wait, how did you... How did you lose already? Seriously? It's not that bad. Good. Another division. I'm going to throw you to... Uh, what group is that? Why do you have so few divisions? Oh, you're supposed to be one... What am I doing? What am I even doing? Everyone comes here. Because we're going to have one massive attack. As long as the Ottomans don't attack us in the butt hole, we should be okay. Oh my god, seriously. I don't understand why it doesn't... If you right-click, it says delete all orders. That is a lie. That is a huge lie that the game still says. I don't know why I believe the game's lies. I don't know. It's because they sound too nice. That's why. You know what, just in case? Just, just, just in case. I really don't trust these guys. Yeah, go ahead and uh, put everyone here. That. That'd be good. Nice. Uh, you could probably go ahead and try to kill them off that way. See what happens. You know, good stuff. Serbia. What are you doing? Serbia. Or Yugoslavia. Oh, my goodness. You guys should be able to rush in. That'd be good. IAR investments. Uh, feels okay. Let's go ahead and grab Legacy of Vlaisu and Vulia. Uh... TV and the late Aral Vlaku are Romania's greatest aviation pioneers. Their skills were not only limited to piloting, but to aircraft design as well. Our future pilots and fighters will bear the legacy of Romania's aeronautical heroes. We get a bonus to that, which is nice. We can still get that, still get that. We can't do this, but that's okay with me. Beautiful, my friends, beautiful. We got even more planes. Good. Let's throw them on before the war actually starts. Right, Bink? That's right. Nice. We actually have capabilities for airplanes. Nice. And that's a beautiful thing. I can't guard your borders, Yugoslavia. You are probably stronger than me at this point. Mm. Actually, no, they're not. That's they're pathetic. Oh, they've ended. Why did? What? Why are we saying non aggression pact? You abandon the. You ab Oh my god, are you kidding me, Canada? You abandoned the Pacific States. No, you have to fight the Commonwealth of America now. Oh my goodness, that is so not good. That is so not good. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go to war. If we're gonna watch our allies die... Oh, I'm not gonna call them the allies. Just go right on ahead. Can we go to war with Hungary? Yes. Go to war with these guys as well. And we're gonna finish what we started earlier. I'm not going to have these guys move yet. Yeah, good. Call it the Germans. So be it. Yes, non-aggression pack. Yes, non-aggression pack. No. I can't afford to divert your attention anywhere else. War propaganda. Yes. 2%. That's not bad. And now we're getting invaded in the Southern Balkans. But what else is new? Called in Brazil against us. It really won't matter. We're going to take Hungary away from these guys in this campaign, which will be good. You guys are holding out very nicely. Legation. Wow, watch out, Legation Cities. Better watch out. Oh, we're doing great in Hungary. This is going to spell the end of these guys. Yeah, I'm not too worried about two Sicilies, not going to lie. Not worried about that right now. Wow, they are definitely breaching through here. That is scary for these guys. Wow. 
That's fine, guys. Yeah, we can have non official pack for now. Uh, everyone down here has been called in, which is good. Better do whatever we can while we can. Uh, cool. You actually go ahead and help out here. Link up. He's everywhere else along the line. Hungary is going to fall pretty easily. We're, we've already taken Bucharest, which is awesome. You guys help out. Nice. Casualties. We've taken 8,000 versus, wow, 5.66. Jesus. Middle Africa has lost no person yet. Pretty safe to be there for now, I guess. And then they actually haven't collapsed yet, which is kind of surprising. Oh, good. Interwar Ahmad Cause. A beautiful thing to have. If that's the case, go five. Go uh, five here. Since we do have enough. Uh, supply wise, good. Nice. Wow, actually, by taking more Romanian lands, Hungarian lands, I mean, we can actually get a couple more things that we could use. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're doing pretty darn well now. You guys, yeah, I don't know if we can actually do that well over here. Oh, cr are you kidding me? I was going to go ahead and just assault the area this way. Well, go ahead and see what you can do. Okay, now we're, we've linked up. Good. I know we won't be able to win right here immediately, but that's okay. My goal is just to push through here as fast as possible. Diverting soldiers away from the main Reichspact front on the east and the west. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, no miracle Dunkirk this year. Even less supplies? Eh, we're kind of okay for now. Southern Balkans. Oh, they landed again. And they're going to die again. There goes Hungary. Time to march on to Austria. Vienna, thank you. Thank you for playing. Now, I wonder what, what a piece deal we're going to get out of this. I really kind of wonder what we're going to get. Oh, good. We got more army XP. Good. We like them big. We like them chunky. Oh, and, oh how much support do we have? Oh, we got enough. Yes. Uh, guns? Do we need more? Oh, we might... No, I don't think we need more guns. Good. If we do this... We'll have enough. Motorized, might as well take it. No, you can't take it. That's okay, we didn't really need that. Do that. Do that. Steel. Cool. That's good. That's good, 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 good. Come on, guys, move in. Oh, we were defeated there. That's not good. We need Vienna. Recon 3, the Netherlands is gone. I forgot they even joined the enemy faction. Do it, hospitals. Are we still mobilizing? No, we're not. That's fine. Oh, we're actually doing well down here. Good. Again with the Southern Balkans. Again. Oh, we actually made an instrument with the Russians over here. Nice. Ah, Galicia Ludomeria. You had such a chance. So much potential, but this is the end of the Reichs Pact. Uh, Russia's really not doing that much better now. Uh, actually, I take that back. They invaded ne the Netherlands of all places. They invaded the Netherlands. What the heck? There goes Belgium. Oh my gosh, please get Vienna. We can capitulate the Rush. the, not the Russians. The, uh, the people over here. The Austrians. Nice. Oh, we're gonna get it. Oh, the Germans are retreating. We've taken Vienna. We have stormed Vienna again in this campaign. Just tasty. Beautiful. Beautifully tasty. Yum yum. Let's go and shorten this lineup a little bit more. Whee! Eh, I don't really want to guard those areas. Go, go, go. Grab whatever you can and run with it. Mm, we could raise conscription level up one more level so that we can go with even faster construction speed of stuff here, but mm, I don't know about that. Hmm. Oh god, what's going on down here? Um. It's fine. I don't, I don't really want to think about that. That's fine. You guys are doing a great job. Anyone have upgrades? 
This has been a very successful episode, especially after the last episode where we didn't do a whole lot. So I'm feeling pretty darn good about this. Manpower-wise, I'm not sure if we can really afford every division to be a big division. So, you guys... You might convert first. I want these guys to convert first. Convert five of these guys to big boys. Because we have the equipment level for it. Manpower's going to drop, which is fine. Come on, I want to capitulate the Reichs back in this episode, but we won't be able to because... Oh, the Austrian Empire is so close. What do they have still? Oh, they have Graz. Interesting. Interesting. Right, Bink? Come on, get Graz. We can capitulate the Austrians this way. No, no, no. We're okay. Oh, we even invaded Poland as well. Okay, let's see. Look at Maria. That's good. Come on, Russia. You are honestly acting a little pathetic right now. Legacy? Good. Let's... Oh, we can't do this. Doctrinal experiment. So, new plans of pilots are all nice and important, but doctrine cannot fall behind. Since aerial warfare remains a new, very new concept with an unclear future, we must invest in trial and experimentation to ensure that our pilots and commanders keep up with global developments. Good. Keep going, keep going. These are only Germans. We've taken Graz. How have they not capitulated? Seriously, how's, how's Austria not capitulated yet? That's a bit much. They lost Vienna. They lost Graz. 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 However you pronounce it. Come on, man. Prague IDEC engineers are going to ask for more money, which is fine with me. We can afford uh, to do so, so it's not bad. Help them out if you can. Beat up them Swedes. Maybe focus more on tanks, perhaps. Oh, we have enough steel now. It's nice. Tungsten. Yes. That's how much we need. That'd be good. Oh, now we need more steel. Whatever. Maybe we'll still make a tank division. I don't know. Alright, the attacks don't seem to be extremely successful. Do not join the Chinese United Front. That's fine. But as long as we keep our, up our attacks, oh, the Reichsbeck's definitely going to have to fall soon enough. We've lost 100,000 men. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. We've killed off, though, 31,000 Austrians and more people as well. The United Front forms. The Chinese, well... What the heck is going on over here? Oh, wow! They all got rid of their faction and became the Chinese United Front against the Fangshin government. They recognize that that's not doing too well. Come on, can we please capitulate Austria in this episode? Please, please, please. Oh, come on, come on. I know the fighting's fierce. I know the manpower's probably going down. That's okay, though. Come on, France. We're doing well on the Polish front. I don't know why we're doing well on the Polish front. I like it. I don't understand why. I'll grab some more of this. It's fine. Lithuania's gone. Good job, Russia. Oh, there's nowhere, place, nowhere else I can really build stuff up that was not our core. I don't like that. I really don't. Oh, come on, Linz. Linz. Prague. Come on, I just want Austria. Just want Austria. Oh! Oh, we've reached the third international front lines. Which is not good. But, you know, whatever. Adaptable, yes. That's an amazing trait that you should always get. Or almost always. Cool. Take out Prague, please, 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 please. Clog and foot. Even if we take Clog and foot, that'd be enough. Can you capitulate them? Just you by yourself. Well, with these two guys helping you. You might be able to. Come on. Come on. Uh, invest 100, that's fine. We can afford that. Me, me. Come on. Bohemia is gone. Okay. Uh, oh, we invested 130% construction speed. God dang. Oh, dockyard output would be really good right now. Oh, resource efficiency gain is okay. Factory output. We really don't need any more stuff. Dockyard output. Oh, my goodness. We could actually make it, maybe make a navy. Oh, my. Yeah, let's try that one. Uh, investing. I'm going to get one more, huh? Keep going for that. Bohemia is gone, my friends. Come on. Just take plug in for it. That's all we need. That's the last victory point to capitulate the Austrians. Come on. That's literally the last one, probably. They're 97% of the way there. Oh, we took it. Come on. What is this? Are they done? 100%. We did it. We at least capitulated them. Good. Whew, that has been one heck of an episode, but we will kill, kill off the Reichs Pact in the next episode, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will capitulate the Reichs Pact. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.